Assalamu alaikum. Today's hikmah is on perspective of worship. Ibn Ta'Allah has an incredible statement that really shifts how we view the obligations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. You know, many of us grow up with this sense of dread over the fact that Allah has mandated certain things, five prayers, fasting in Ramadan, zakat, hajj, etc. And getting through those obligations can be tough. We, f- we have to figure out like wisdoms and reasons why we do them to convince us to partake in them. But Ibn Ta'Allah has like this end-all be-all statement that is just so powerful. I love it so much. I bookmarked it here. He says, أَوْجَبَ عَلَيْكَ وُجُودْ خِدْمَتِهِ He has obligated upon you service to him. Meaning what? He's obligated upon you certain things, acts of worship. وَمَا أَوْجَبَ عَلَيْكَ إِلَّا دُخُولْ جَنَّتِهِ And in reality, all that he is obligated upon you is that you will be entered into his paradise. The perspective that Ibn Ta'Allah gives us here is so calming, is so powerful. He says that if you see the obligations that Allah has sent down upon humanity as a burden, then you will never do them with pleasure and with tranquility. But if you see the obligations as nothing more than an obligation for you to enter paradise, that the two are connected, then imagine the perspective that you have now as you step up to pray your salah, as you get your adhan notification on your phone when you're in the middle of something, Instead of saying, oh, I have to pray, now you get to say to yourself, I get to pray. I get to have my entrance into paradise sealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala give us this perspective.